Hello, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, parents, TJC alumni, and fellow TJCians. A very big thank you to everyone for joining us in this happy occasion today to celebrate our college's 44th College Day. My name is Vishva. I am Shen Li. And I am Pranav. And we are your MCs for today. This year, our 44th College Day takes the form of an e-ceremony. Whether you are joining us from the comfort of your home in Singapore or overseas, we warmly welcome you to this year's e-ceremony. This year's ceremony is a special one for the college as we celebrate our 45th anniversary. Events to celebrate the occasion are already in full swing in TJC, and we are excited to share snippets of these celebrations with all of you who are joining us online today. The theme for our e-college day, which is also the theme for our 45th anniversary celebrations, is ever-rooted, ever-growing, forever green. Being ever-rooted encapsulates our aspiration for TJCians to always look back and remember where we came from, the many pioneers who paved the way for us to have the dynamic school experience that we have today, and the very values that have shaped us to be servant leaders with a heart for the community. To be ever-growing reflects our hope for all TJCians to be adaptive and to nurture strength of spirit and resilience in the face of challenges brought about by a rapidly changing and increasingly uncertain world. Hitting closer to home, the notion of being forever green serves as a reminder for us to stop and appreciate the lush greenery around us that has earned us the title of being the Botanic Garden of the East. Our sprawling, serene garden campus is also a conducive environment for all of us to thrive in and is indeed our second home and safe haven during the most pivotal years of our individual growth and schooling journey. Our dream is for TJ to continue its legacy to nurture TJ's who are trailblazers in their own right and whose hearts always beat for college, for nation. To start off today's exciting program, we would like to invite our principal, Mr. Liu Erndler, to say a few words. Mr. Liu, please. Hi everyone, welcome to College Day 2022. This year, we turn 45, and our tagline for the 45th anniversary celebrations is Ever Rooted, Ever Growing, and Forever Green. In the past, the principal's address included a recounting of the students' many achievements for the past year. And to all prize winners for this year, on behalf of the TJ staff, we give you our heartiest congratulations. We trust that these achievements will spur you on to greater heights. As the students' achievements are listed in the College Day report, I've decided to spend my precious airtime in a different way. In short, I want to call upon the TJ community to strengthen the basics to renew our commitment to time-honoured values such as care and kindness. In his Instagram post about the 1st of May, May Day rally, Prime Minister wrote, we can feel the headwinds even as we sense new opportunities opening up. The imperative for business and workforce transformation has never been stronger. We need to continually reinvent ourselves to maintain our place in the world. I don't know how you feel when you hear PM's words, but I know I felt moved. I agree intuitively with PM. His words are not a prescription to Singapore, but rather a description of what Singapore needs to do due to external, worldwide forces. And yet, I feel the pressure. Education in Singapore has been reinventing ourselves for the past many years, and in all these years, schools and teachers have been trying our very best to keep up. And I'm sure the students feel the pressure too, to do well holistically, yet get enough sleep, get time for the family and so forth. So how will we keep up with the pace and yet remain sane and happy? The answer is simple. Let's spend time to be kind to ourselves and to others. Let's care for ourselves carefully and care for our friends carefully too. What goes round comes round. If you practice kindness, others will do the same and together we can keep the pace and live up to our challenges. If you practice less kindness, it will also influence others and pretty soon it will de descend into a selfish and unkind world and it will be all the more difficult to keep the pace. I know that some of you may poo-poo this. You may think that if you are kind to others, others will take advantage of you being kind to others equals you are soft, whereas you want to be strong. Well, my simple response to you is this. Being kind doesn't mean that you allow others to walk over your head. We should be wise and savvy about how we deliver our, and exercise our smarts. And above all, undergird your wisdom and your savvy 
with kindness. So allow me to end off with this note. Kindness and community are time-honored virtues that are important in themselves. And as the saying goes, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. In this current day and age, as we strive to keep the pace, let's all the more keep the faith too. And let's redouble our commitment to each other and to strengthen our fundamentals of care and kindness. One team, one dream, one Tomasic family. Happy College Day. Thank you. We are honoured to have Mr. Gerald Heng, a naval officer who has retired from the Republic of Singapore Navy, as our guest of honour for this year's E-College Day ceremony. Mr. Heng was from the class of 1986 and is the Honorary Treasurer of the College Advisory Committee. Mr. Heng, please. Let me first congratulate the class of 2021 on completing your junior college education. On the academic front, your cohort has done well. I am told that one in three students scored three H2 distinctions or better. Distinction is A grade, as you know. Two in three students scored university admission score or UAS 80 or better. The maximum UAS is 90. Four in 10 students scored UAS 85 or better. Of the H3 students, more than one in two scored distinction or A grade again. 8 in 10 scored distinction or merit. Well done. More importantly, you were the cohort that faced the full brunt of the COVID-19 pandemic. You displayed grit, perseverance and tenacity over the last two years and overcame the various obstacles thrown in your way, both by the pandemic and your teachers. And you succeeded. I salute you for it. Singapore is finally seeing some light at the end of the pandemic tunnel. But I can promise you that COVID-19 won't be the last pandemic that you face in your life. Likewise, you will continue to face many other obstacles in your life. Continue to display the same grit, perseverance and tenacity to take on life's obstacles and challenges. Don't lose it. Mr. Liu Enle, Principal, DJC, teachers, staff, parents, alumni, and students, good morning. I'm honoured and grateful for the privilege of speaking to you on DJC's 44th College Day. I'm going to share two stories today. First story, I was a student in TJC from 1985 to 86. Civic Group of CG0185. Yes, I was a TJCian. This is the testimonial I got from TJC in December 1986. Intelligent, enthusiastic in acquiring new knowledge, quick in grasping concepts and good retentive powers, inquiring mind and capacity to analyse. A high standard of performance in the academic field Whoa, my teacher wrote that for me despite this. C for chemistry, C for mathematics, and 5 for Chinese. And this, C for chemistry again, 3 for GP, and mainly Bs, no As at all. More Cs and Bs than As. She made me, a C grader, feel like a gold medal winner. It was the first written full testimonial I had ever received in my life. I had never seen one before. It made a huge impact on me. I remember it till today and still keep the original copy. That was in December 1986, before the A-level results came out. When I got my results a couple of months later, I got four A's. I was asked to apply for scholarships. I applied. And with the help of the testimonial and all the character development staff that I had gained from TJC, I was awarded the SAF Overseas Scholarship. And like they say, the rest is history. Why did my teacher do what she did? And it was not just for me. Many of my classmates had similar 
fond memories and respect for our teacher. And I'm sure that many others, if not all teachers in TJC, did and still do the same for their two students. My teacher was Mrs. Jagged Dan. We continued to stay in touch with her for decades after we left TJC. We visited her home during Chinese New Year. We met up for high tea, lunches, dinners, coffee. And when she was seriously ill, we took her out to lift her spirits. She passed away in July 2020. The class of 2021, you would have known her. So why did Mrs. Dan do what she did? To make a difference? Yes, but why? What drove her to do so? Some may say it was because she believed in us. Others may say she was just being kind. I say it was both. She believed in us and also showed kindness to us. It is only when we believe in and are kind to others that we will go the extra mile to make a difference. Try it. Believe in and be kind to the people around you. Magic happens and good things will follow. Believe in and be kind to others. I come to my second story. When I was a little boy and was asked what I wanted to be when I grew up, the answer was always, I don't know. When asked again as a teenager, I still did not know. Lawyer, doctor, engineer, banker, police officer, social worker, businessman, entrepreneur, and so on. I really had no clue. But I do remember an occasion here at DJC when my teacher, yes, Mrs. Jagit Dan, asked me the same question. What do you want to be, Gerald? And I said, happy. Just a one-word answer, happy. She was stunned, probably not expecting an answer like that. And then she just smiled and left it at that. I did not know why I gave that answer. It just came out spontaneously from my mouth. Later, during my national service or NS, I signed on as a regular officer with the Navy. I was an optimist dinghy sailor in primary school. I was in the National Cadet Corps C in secondary school, where I did kayaking, sailing, and powerboat handling. So, when the Navy came and gave a recruitment talk during my basic military training, BMT, phase in NS, it resonated with me. The sea was calling. I decided to give it a try. To be honest, I was not sure at all whether that was what I wanted as a career. But my thinking then was to give it a try. Just follow my heart first. And if I did not like the Navy after a few years, I could always leave and try something else. One thing led to another, and I ended up serving in the Navy for 32 years before I retired from naval service in early 2019. Now, this story is not a recruitment talk for the Navy. For the record, I went on to serve as the CEO of the Singapore Badminton Association for about two years. And then I went back to the sea and, and I'm now skippering a charter yacht. Somehow still following what had resonated with my heart more than 30 years ago. This story is about what I wanted to be. The naval officer profession and work in the Navy was not all a bed of roses. There were the good times. And then there were the tough, challenging and frustrating times too. At various points during my service in the Navy, I asked myself whether I should continue or leave and try something else. Somewhere along the way, the answer that I gave my teacher, Mrs. Dan, about being happy came back to me and started to make sense. I realised that I was happy when I could help other people in one way or another. I realised that I could do it in the Navy and help make a difference to the people around me, regardless of whatever role or assignment I was given. 
I realised that I don't have to quit and be a social worker to help other people. I realised that it was not just about what I wanted to be. The more important question was about who I wanted to be. And who I wanted to be, the person who feels happy helping others can be attained regardless of whatever profession or career I'm in. For the class of 2021, this is probably the time where all of you would be grappling with this similar question of what you want to be, what do you do after JC, what course should you do at university, and so on. Okay, maybe for the guys, you still have two years more during NS to think about this. I suggest that you focus on who you want to be. Ask yourself what it is about you that gives you a great sense of satisfaction and meaning. What makes you tick? What you take joy in doing? It probably has to do with who you really are and the values you hold dear close to your heart. You may not find the answer anytime soon. Keep searching. It will all make sense one day. As for what you want to be, go with your heart. Some of you may already be crystal clear about what you want to be and what you want to do next. That's good. Others among you may still be unclear. It is okay to not have clarity yet. Just try something. Do something, don't sit still, and if it does not work out, move on. Be bold and be brave. That's it, two stories. Thank you all once again for the privilege of addressing you on this 44th College Day. Congratulations to all award winners. And a special thank you to all teachers and staff of TJC. You are awesome, doing what you do day in and day out, all the time making a difference to our students. Happy College Day to all teachers, staff and students. I wish TJC a fruitful 45th year ahead in nurturing students who are ever rooted, ever growing and forever green. For College, for Nation. TJC students took pride in giving their very best and have worked hard to attain Tamastic excellence. It is now time to celebrate another year of outstanding academic achievement of our TJ-tions. The awards presentation will be accompanied by pieces performed by our performing arts groups. Some of these pieces are a special preview from the upcoming online concerts that our CCAs will be holding in this term. We hope you'll enjoy the preview and support them in their online concerts. Now, we present to you the Academic Awards winners, accompanied by the JC Division of the TJC Symphonic Band performing Frank Tichelli's Vesuvius.
distinguished institution with a proud heritage. TJC stands on the shoulders of 45 generations of staff and students who have each left a unique and indelible mark on the school. Their legacies have indeed contributed to the creation of a rich TJ tradition and caring TJC family that we have today. Speaking of family, let's head into our very first feature titled Our Family of TJCians and hear from some of our alumni who remain rooted to their ties to TJC by continuing to send their children to the college. Walking into the college makes me feel that, wow, it's a very big garden, right? Um, so much greenery, so much green spaces. I think nothing has changed. It brings back a lot of fond memories. This place, this particular room is what used to be the library. So I was a student librarian. So we used to, that's when the school decided to let us use the library for studies at night. I think the facilities now are actually much, much better than what we used to have. So, um, like, I have a photo here that actually show, like, you know, our classroom is still like using blackboard. <laughs> I I think TJ actually is a very caring uh, family. I would say, a uh, family of teachers and of students, everybody. I I must echo that. I mean, the teachers really made me back. Uh, different types of people in the season. My sister is definitely an inspiration for me. So she, was, she actually served as the vice president of Leo Club two years prior and that was a very big um, inspiration for me to also give back to the community and try to do my best to um, serve as the president of Leo Club in my own term. So that was something that was definitely an inspiration. <laughs> yeah, I, um, Having this TJ family actually was very fun in a sense that uh, in a way, like it feels like it already feels like home. You can remember the Mardi Gras. You all oh, oh my yeah. God! Yes, Mardi Gras. <laughs> Classic Titans Challenge. Uh, it was really popular in my cohort. A lot of us wanted to sign up for it because we could actually get that shirt that had this really um, cool design. I think mine would be uh, last year in J1 where we had a, this Halloween party, which um, I also took part in organizing since I was in a class comm, and it was really fun. Uh, like seeing everyone dressing up and like. Uh, playing the activities that we planned. I think similar to my parents, CCA was like a big part of my JC experience. I was in the outdoor activities club where there were a lot of highlights. So like we went to two Malaysian expeditions, we went to Nepal at the end of the year and it was yeah, one of the biggest experiences of my school life in general. This is an example of what we have done at Istana, right? We re represented Singapore for a music cultural exchange program in Taiwan. Right, and these are just some of the accomplishments okay, we have done for those two years. We try to make a point to go to their concerts, so their concerts as much as possible. But it also uh, brings back, back memories to during our time when we ourselves perform. Uh, and TJC is when we actually found out that we had talents which were deeply hidden. <laughs> Together as a team, that has always been the band motto. So I think that brought us through uh, the most difficult pieces, the most uh, diff whatever times you want to call it. Yeah. I would think of firstly passion, um, commitment to do something, and also drive you know, to overcome obstacles, hardship. And although right near get go, but I think it doesn't matter. Uh, the bronze is just a good enough recognition for what they have done. And I was certainly very proud that he actually won the medal. In general, what was common was that we all sought to push ourselves in, you know, in whatever ways we, we chose. Uh, for me, it will be hoping that perhaps there could be another generation <laughs> of TJ's in the family. Right? So uh, keep our le legacy going, continue to uh, promote the good name of TJ's. So I think academic excellence is a given. So you know that's something which we have to continue, right? But uh, what strikes me about PGC is that uh, there is a sense of uh, down to earth 
Yes, yeah. Mm. Uh, there's an uh, absence of this elitist uh, mindset and all that. Uh, there's a, some some kind of humility in, in DGC, and I think that's some that's a value which uh, perhaps should be should 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 be maintained. That's what I would like to see at least. Teachers should seek excellence beyond the academic field. We showed passion, purpose and drive as we honed our skills in our core curricular activity and demonstrated the individual agency to initiate projects to effect positive change in the community. In recognition of this, we now present the co-curricular activity, Values in Action and Innovation Awards. This presentation is accompanied by the IP division of TJC Guitar Ensemble, performing a medley from the popular movie musical, the Greatest Showman. Without further ado, here are the award winners.
as TJC turns 45 this year, the college is in a spirit of pride and celebration. Over the years, TJCians past and present have achieved many outstanding milestones in a myriad of fields, and this is truly testament to the multi-talented nature of our student body. Let's now hand the time over to Mardia and Chosien to introduce the lineup of activities to mark some of these momentous achievements. Mardia and Chosien, take it away. The Masik JC turns 45 this year. To celebrate this milestone, Chosien and I will be introducing you to some of the special projects launched to celebrate this momentous occasion. Let's go! What makes TJC so special? The answer to this question lies in our 45th anniversary slogan. TJC is a distinguished institution that pledges to be ever-rooted, ever-growing and forever green. To commemorate this special occasion, we are proud to officially launch our college mascot, Shroomy. Inspired by our lush greenery and also our iconic mushroom shape, lecture theatres, Shroomy is a cute yet apt representation of our school. You may have seen our special 45th anniversary sticker packs starring Shroomy circulating over WhatsApp and Telegram to share it far and wide to promote what our college stands for. In addition to this, the stickers have come to life as standees in five different locations around college. Have fun spotting them and taking creative photos together with your friends. Do upload your photos on social media and tag us at our unique 45th anniversary hashtag TJ45. Finally, we hope that you like the limited edition commemorative pin that was distributed to all staff and students. Let's get moving! 2021 saw the launch of our first ever virtual marathon, where both students and staff participated fervently as they went the distance to burn those calories. This year, the Virtual Marathon Plus was launched on the 18th of April, where we welcomed a bigger pool of participants with our alumni coming on board and participants aiming to hit a stretch goal of 45 kilometers. And boy, are we gunning for gold, as we have hit a combined total of over 45,000 kilometers and counting since the 1st of May. Truly showing our thermostic spirit ablaze. Let's not only get a move on, but also our groove on for TJC's 45th. Our student counsellors proudly launched the TJC 45th Anniversary Dance Challenge on the 18th of April on their new TikTok account at This Is Thomastic. They led the college in learning special dance moves that incorporated the numbers 4 and 5 to commemorate our 45th anniversary. Let's check out some of our own TJ Shen's creative submissions. Are you ready? You look, you laugh, you love, if only you knew that all I ever think about you. Any Insta-worthy backgrounds in college besides our fan favourite brick wall? Fret not. This year, we are taking TJC's Forever Green ambitions to the next level as the college introduces vertical greens. Look out for them at our canteen, general office and our latest edition at the Arts Hub to complete this green trilogy. Are you looking to return to our college before we begin our rejuvenation? Then come home to us when we begin our cohort reunions later in the year. This will be your chance to walk down our hallowed hallways once again, reminiscing good times with your batchmates and even have a picnic on our field to soak in the atmosphere. Do look out for more details of this in time to come on our college's website or social media platforms. If you are overseas or unable to return, our new Heritage website will be a new place for us to come together to bid farewell to our beloved home. Check it out at memoriesoftj.com as we capture the activities, artifacts, people and spaces that have made TJC so special in our current campus. It has truly been a special 45 years for us at Bedok South and we cannot be prouder of what TJC has to offer. These celebrations highlight the secret sauce that makes us special. And we've only just begun, so do look forward to more things to come in the year ahead. TJC at 45 Ever rooted, ever growing, forever green!
CJC offers a holistic education that nurtures all-round achievers. It is now time to present the ACE Awards, which honours students who excelled academically and demonstrated exemplary leadership. This will be followed by the presentation of the top three awards, the Integrated Programme Overall Best Student Award, the JC1 Overall Best Student Award, and the JC2 Overall Best Student Award. As we present the award winners, do enjoy the music accompaniment by the JC Division of the TJC Choir, performing Morton Lauritsen's Ove Las Il Belviso. In the past 45 years, we have had many fine men and women as TJC's valedictorians. This year marks a new milestone in our history, as we have not just one, but two valedictorians to share their experiences and aspirations of their cohort. It is my honour to invite Sheikh Hoi Yip, President of the 44th Students' Council, and Lai King Yu, Humanity Scholar and Vice Chairperson of Leo Club, to deliver the valedictions. Hoi Yip and King Yu, please. Hi, King Yu. So, we've been given the important responsibility of representing our cohort in this valedictory speech. So, have you thought of what you would say to describe your journey in DJ? 
Yeah, actually, I thought it would be good to use a kaleidoscope. Cool. For me, I decided to use a roller coaster. Wow. Eh? Why are we still talking on Zoom? Ah? Actually, you're right. I think it's a reflex after two years of COVID. So maybe we shall go over to the TJC campus for the rest of this speech. Sounds great. See you. See you. Ooh, okay, let's go. Good morning, Mr. Liu, Vice Principals, Distinguished Guests, Tutors, Parents, and Fellow TJCians. The past few years have certainly been a wild roller coaster ride, but we've all emerged stronger from it. Allow me to bring you on my journey. I joined TJC in 2016 with the induction team of Mosaic, Unity in Diversity. The first week felt like being strapped in for a ride of a lifetime. That unique blend of excitement and fear as we stood poised to take on the next chapter of our lives. In the daunting uphill climb that followed, I got to meet some of the people who become my closest friends. Being able to weather the ups and downs alongside all of them made it more than worth the while. To this day, the, this mosaic tea is still a shirt that I wear with tremendous pride as a part of this family. In 2020, we had more of our friends join us as our family grew to more than 500 members. Little did we know, our orientation team of Valeris, Born to be Brave, will prove to be very apt as we tackled the toughest climb and braved the pandemic together as one. We have gone through some of our lowest points together, be it trying to cope with home-based learning, being unable to see one another for months at a time, or thinking about what our JC experience could have been. However, on this roller coaster journey of ours, there's in many highs too. Be it celebrating our friends' birthdays, celebrating one another's successes, or participating in events such as orientation, infinity, and house function, we created our own experiences that will forever be uniquely ours. We all came in blind into the unknown, but we left having written a new chapter with our closest companions. A chapter filled with stories that will be distinctly ours due to the circumstances we were in but also as a culmination of our individual quirks and idiosyncrasies. For me, our TJC journey can be best summed up with the metaphor of a kaleidoscope. Even as I was new to the school, one thing was abundantly clear to me. There are endless possibilities as long as we're willing to imagine them. Just like how the different multicolored pieces in the kaleidoscope come together to form endless patterns, TJ has given us that space to imagine our future each one beautiful in its own way. And we could always chart a new direction if we wanted to shake things up. We were given the freedom to explore our interests and figure out what worked for us and what didn't. There were always opportunities around the corner, and this journey has been nothing short of exciting. We've been given chances to work with many organizations through programs such as the Wonder Observe We program and the Tomasic Internship program. We've been given chances to contribute to the causes we care for. We've been given chances to plan and facilitate our own learning, to explore areas outside the curriculum. Our journey has been excitingly multifaceted and vibrant. Above all, TJ has been comfortable. It's where we've grown up. It's the place where the childlike wonder of looking through a kaleidoscope remains alive. It's where we aren't embarrassed or afraid when we make mistakes because there's always someone in our corner. It's where we might trip in the LT and laugh it off. It's where there are always familiar faces and where there are always doors left open for us. This is where I've met some people with the biggest hearts. They are the reason TJ is so comfortable, knowing that there are always people who care, people who are paying attention, people who are willing to help at the drop of the hat. Here's a quick anecdote. When my friends noticed that a stray cat right here, affectionately named Brownie, was squinting and had discharged near her eyes, Everyone devised a quick plan to bring her to the vet before our consult. In the process, I will always remember how many fellow cat lovers came to help us gently put Brownie into the carrier and even loaned us a cat carrier so that we could bring her to the vet. This was extremely heartwarming and remains a core memory for me. In return, when we asked the cat whether she thought a specific topic would come up for our history paper, she was spot on. Most importantly, this wasn't a unique instance. There's a culture of warmth and kindness that permeates through TJ that makes this place so wonderful. Even as we were trying to navigate the pandemic, we have never forgotten to think about those around us. 
from raising funds for our various beneficiaries during the City YMCA Youth for Causes program and the Mezarin program, to donating recyclables during Go Green Day, to checking in with each other, and even calling your friend who has decided to take a nap between lessons during HBL to wake them up, the cohort has truly come true in so many ways. I believe it's why we keep coming back. We continue haunting the same places, and seeing our juniors in the MRT in the morning always feels so nostalgic. I feel very proud to be a part of this cohort. In spite of the difficulties we faced, we still excelled and carved our own niche in the world. Learning for our cohort often went beyond the classrooms, and there are so many wonderful stories where individuals and teams did not let the pandemic deter us from pursuing our passion. Above all, I feel that it is a sense of camaraderie and optimism that has defined us and brought us through many tough times. This is espoused by our willingness to go out of our way to help one another in times of need, to celebrate one another's successes wholeheartedly, and to prioritize being a nice person and a good friend over all else. Feeling the warmth we have created is something that I can never forget. We've all had our own struggles, but what has made our time here easier is the support we render to one another. One of the best, albeit slightly nerdy, manifestations of this was how everyone would study together in the library. Whenever we would have questions, others would be more than willing to volunteer their assistance, sometimes spending an hour or more trying to clear our misconceptions. I will always also remember the heartfelt conversations and friendships that are formed right here in this cafe and spontaneous birthday celebrations in the canteen where random students would just join in on the singing. It's not a feeling that I can describe easily with words, but it's something you need to experience in person to understand, and I am proud and grateful to have been able to be a part of it. At this point, we would like to say a huge thank you to the college leaders and our Dean, Mrs Lim, whose encouragement has kept our spirits high, even when the amount of sleep we get was very little. Yes, to the college leaders and tutors, thank you for all the support and guidance you've provided over the past few years. Especially through the pandemic and other tough times, your support was priceless in allowing us to emerge stronger through adversities. Thank you, tutors, who have seen us through all the ups and downs, for opening as many consultation slots as you can, for answering all our panic texts, for checking in on us, in particular, I want to thank a very special group of tutors. My THB tutors, as well as my literature tutors. You believed in me even when I was still trying to find my way around. A special thank you to Ms. Seng, Ms. Wang, Ms. Go, and Ms. Kwan. Your inspirational passion, kindness, and words of wisdom are things I will always remember. Lastly, thank you to our parents, who have been taking care of us since day one, and who have always been cheering us on. From ensuring we wake up on time, to bring us food, and even explaining concepts to us, you have all truly been a great source of strength. As our generation of TJ's graduate and make an impact on the world, new generations of TJ's continue to enter and get the same experience as we do, learning and growing through similar experiences and in the same warm environment. To the juniors, I'm confident that your journey in TJ will be kaleidoscopic too and know that the memories you make here are the ones that you will hold dear for years to come. Yes, as we reach the end of this roller coaster, let's all remember the lessons that we have learned, the fond memories that we have made, and most importantly, the people who have accompanied us for the ride. At the heart of it all, we will always be one team, one dream, one Thermasic. Thanks to the support of our many alumni who remained rooted to their ties with the college, TJC has grown from strength to strength every year. Many of our alumni have enthusiastically responded to calls to contribute to newer generations of TJ shirts. This year, we have the privilege to present the Distinguished Alumnus Award to three of our alumni for their invaluable contributions to TJC's growth. Our first Distinguished Alumnus Award goes to Mr. Go Yong Singh of Class 1991. Mr. Go is the Managing Director of Maven Tree Technology. He's the immediate past honorary treasurer and played a key role in kickstarting the alumni networking sessions and in introducing new initiatives to alumni financial processes, including online payment for TJC alumni membership. He's a regular contributor to the Adopt the Tree project since 2015 and is ever present at the annual Go Green Day. 
He was also a guest speaker for several school events and activities, including Career Scholarship Higher Education Fairs and the TJC's Human Library. The second Distinguished Alumnus Award goes to Mr. Thomas Chong of Class 1986. Mr. Chong is the Executive Vice President of Principal Financial Group and President of Principal Asia. He hosted many student leaders on the Overseas Leadership Immersion Program from 2017 to 2018. He served as a mentor in the Taliban Development Program from 2019 to 2021 and was a guest speaker in TJC's Inside Outsides Forum and International Student Leadership Congress in 2021 and 2022. The third Distinguished Alumnus Award is awarded posthumously to our alumnus, Ms. Malati Das, who was well known as a commercial litigation and family lawyer and director at law firm Joyce A. Tan and Partners. She was also a tireless women's rights advocate and was the first woman and youngest president of the Law Association for Asia and the Pacific between 2011 to 2013. Ms. Das also served as the president of the Singapore Council of Women's Organisations from 2014 to 2016, where she led the group to take part in the Commission on the Status of Women. Ms. Das was also a member of the College Advisory Committee since 2022 and a regular guest speaker at key college events like the Insight Outside Forum in 2019, as well as the International Student Leadership Congress in 2021. We have completed the awards presentation segment of our e-college day. As a token of appreciation to our guest of honour, we present an artwork titled Perspective to Mr. Heng. The artwork is a photograph taken by Jensen Lim from CG 1022 of a sailboat in the sea, paying homage to Mr. Heng's career in the Navy. As we navigate through the eddies and currents of life, we often find ourselves caught up in things that may cloud our line of sight. The photograph serves as a poignant reminder for us all to strive to be like the sailboat in the face of challenges thrown at us by continuing steadily on our way to our goals and nimbly navigating the winds of change ahead as we aim to safely dock at the harbour at the end of our respective journeys. Please enjoy a rendition of our college anthem, accompanied by a feature on some of our college events and CCAs. It matters not where we are from, to Tamasic we now belong. These words from our college anthem have taken root in the hearts of many TJ-tians that have come through our doors and have bonded this ever-growing TJ family. As we sing along to the college anthem, may we reflect and draw inspiration from this lyric and others which we hold dear to our hearts.
we have come to the end of our 44th e-college day. Once again, congratulations to all award winners. A very big thank you to all alumni, parents, staff, students and everyone else who has selflessly contributed to this TJC family and helped us grow to become the distinguished institution that we are today. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us in our day of celebration. We hope you have enjoyed the beautiful landscapes of our green campus that we were able to share within this short e-ceremony. I am Pranav. I am Shen Li. And I am Vishpa. Thank you again and have a great day, everyone. Goodbye! Goodbye.